So then, this is something a little different for me. Normally you're used to seeing me drive the biggest, baddest gas guzzlers that money, or no money in my case, can buy. Case in point, my latest acquisition, a 1999 V8 S-Type, which is currently having some TLC done and will be back on the channel very, very soon. But today though, we're talking about this, the brand new Fiat 500 electric. Now, I like this thing. I think it looks effortlessly modern without straying too far from the original Fiat 500 design. Inside, it's very spacious. It feels cavernous almost, but it isn't the size of a house. And most of all, I have to say, this is, it is the, the easiest car I've ever been able to get my hands on. More on that in a minute. So although I love my big engine brutes, I've wanted to try out an electric car for the longest time. Now, I didn't want to lease one and I certainly didn't want to buy one. I just wanted to see what it was like. And that's when I came across this subscription service called Onto. So basically, Onto is this all-inclusive electric car subscription service that allows you to choose, swap or stop your car every 30 days. And amazingly, they agreed to sponsor this video. And so here I am with the Fiat 500 electric. And all-inclusive actually means all-inclusive, so everything is included in the monthly subscription cost. So the big ones like insurance and tax are covered. You don't have to worry about MOT or servicing, although I guess not all of these costs actually apply to electric cars as of now. But the best of all is the charging costs are included. So all of your charging that you're gonna to need to do to get anywhere in the car is covered in that monthly cost, which I genuinely think is brilliant. The sign-up process was really straightforward too, and you can literally expect to have a car from as little as about 72 hours on your driveway from signing up. It's quite amazing. One thing I was pleasantly surprised at as well is that when this car showed up at the start of the week on my driveway, I had a look at the odometer, and it had just over 100 miles on the clock. And what's more, is those 100 miles were just literally the delivery miles that the driver had just done because this car came from somewhere over, I think, towards Essex and was driven, therefore, all the way to me in Buckinghamshire. And so I'm literally the first person to have this car, so much so that I was even peeling back some wrapping off the screens and some protectors and all sorts of stuff, something I never expected to be doing, to be honest. This car's not exactly poorly specced either. It's got the optional ocean green metallic payment, which I really like actually, I think it's gorgeous. It's got the larger infotainment screen, which also has wireless Apple CarPlay. And I have to say, to drive this thing is quite literally effortless. Compared to my Jag with the big, heavy, old car steering, this thing is literally finger weight. It's so, so effortless. And it's actually pretty fast too. I would, I would genuinely not be surprised if this was quicker, naught to 20 or 30 miles an hour than most conventional supercars. I mean, it's hilarious how quickly this thing just gets off the line. And when you want to slow down, you just let off the throttle pedal as the car harvests energy whilst doing so. Being electric as well, of course, this thing only has two selectable gears, drive and reverse. This whole thing is just this new and easy form of motoring that I've never really experienced and I have to say I'm really enjoying it. Now the battery on this Fiat 500e is wonderfully small which means it's super quick to charge. I think it's something like 40 kilowatts and most of the chargers I've been using have been around 50 kilowatt hours. Generally speaking if I run the car down to around 10-15 percent it takes around 30 minutes or so to get back up to 80 which in this car equates to around 120 miles of range. Of course, Onto is a monthly subscription service, so next month if I decide I want something with more usable range and a bigger battery, well, I can, I can just change the car. But as a general daily runabout to go to the shops or to drive the 40 miles or so it is to visit my parents or yeah, to get some groceries, this thing is like pretty perfect. I, I genuinely didn't think I'd be saying this. I, I really, I really love this car, I really do. So what is this whole electric car thing about then? What is actually under the bonnet? Wow, gosh, it almost looks a bit like an engine, but I guess that's the main 
battery thing going on there. All looks fairly normal, I guess. Fluids and things like that are the same. Does look very futuristic, doesn't it? And then this being a hatchback, obviously it's got a bit of a hatchbacky boot, I suppose, but it's really not too bad. If I have a look in here, got a few bits, got my tripod and things like that. And of course, these seats do go down very easily just like that and you can obviously move the front ones forward and voila you now can transport a body i love the design inside too i love this spokeless steering wheel it reminds me of my old 7 series and that sort of brings me a weird form of comfort i love how everything is within easy reach i mean from the driving position i can put my hand on the corner top furthest away from me of this infotainment screen and everything is within really easy reach you've got the gear selectors here drive neutral reverse and park and down here you can adjust volume the driving modes and there's your parking brake too lots of storage for things like phones or cups you've got this swanky little cup holder that folds away in here like this and the whole thing i mean it's just is obviously a very well thought out car and one which I genuinely, I'm not just saying it, I've really enjoyed using over the past few days so far. And I'm really excited to actually have this for another three or four weeks. Um, I feel very lucky really. And, and it's, it's a really good amount of time for me to actually test this out and see how I get on with it. So big thank you to Onto for supplying me with this car and sponsoring this video. I genuinely think it's something I'm gonna keep using going forward because this whole electric thing so far has been really enjoyable. Let's see if the novelty wears off though, but for now at least, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you found it interesting, although it's a little bit different for me. As I say, Jag content is coming back. The car is, well, almost done now and will be back on my driveway. And so we can get some videos done with that. I've got some cool things planned with that car actually. One of which is gonna be me sleeping in it. So stay tuned. Thank you all so much for watching. See you very, 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 very soon.